Hey guys, welcome to my channel here, Liciously. Um, as you guys can see, I am wearing a hat backwards. And I usually don't wear hats, but today it was one of those days where I just wanted to wear a hat. I was just feeling lazy about doing my hair. Um, before, I never wore my hat backwards because it would expose the hairline. Um, but as you guys can see, it's really framing the face and there's no sign of recession or balding or anything like that. So I'm actually very comfortable just going out like this and I think it suits me well, but you know, whatever. Anyway, today I wanted to talk about a Canadian-based regenerative medicine company called Replicel. They're actually in the pursuit of treating male pattern baldness by using a person's own hair follicles. So back in 2012, Replicel began a phase one trial called RCH01, which is their codename for a product to treat male pattern baldness. Now, the procedure works by obtaining a small punch biopsy from the back of the patient's head because the hair that grows on the back of the scalp is generally resistant to male pattern baldness. And from the sample, the cells called the dermal sheath cup cells are extracted from the base of the follicle. Uh, the cells are then going to be multiplied in a growth medium and then are ready for injection after a period of about two weeks. The goal of this treatment is for the healthy cells to migrate to thinning areas on your scalp, revitalizing the hairs growing there as well as bestowing the thinning hairs with the healthy hairs immunity to baldness. It's also hoped that this procedure will induce the formation of new hair follicles, repopulating bald areas. In March of 2017, five years since the trial began, Repisol was at last able to present the data readout for RCH01's first phase trial. Here are some quotes to summarize the findings. No serious adverse events were reported over the entire 60.5 month follow-up period of the trial. Local injection tolerance was confirmed with only a few minor scalp irritations reported around the injection sites that resolved quickly soon after injection. Furthermore, histopathological evaluation of injection site biopsies taken 6, 12, and 24 months after injection did not reveal any pathology that was suggestive of tumor, granuloma, or foreign body formation. The top 10 participants reported at least a 5% or greater increase in hair density at 6 months post-injection with an average increase of 11.8%. This group demonstrated a sustained response at 24 months, which averaged a 4.2 increase over baseline hair density. While there was a high degree of variability in hair density between individual participants at 24 months post-injection compared to baseline, an overall stabilization of hair loss was observed among all the patients treated per protocol. So that last line of that quote is actually very interesting because it means that this product could be if not uh, something that's more permanent than finasteride and also without side effects. While most patients in the RCH01 trial saw an increase in density over baseline, how much of an increase they saw varied widely with the top responders seeing a 20% increase in 24 months. As such, more data will be needed to determine how and exactly why some individuals saw a greater increase in density than others and ultimately how much of an increase in density is possible. However, it won't be long before these questions will be answered. So back in 2013, the Japanese cosmetics giant, and it's one of the oldest and largest in the world, it's called Shiseido, they purchased the exclusive license to RCH01 for use in Asia. Currently, Shiseido is actually in phase two um, of the trial. They're testing for the safety and the efficacy, and the trial is supposed to last until late 2018. Depending on the results, the protocols, and what Shiseido uh, determines is the best course of action, the product could be granted a conditional marketing approval for 2018, uh, especially after given Japan's recent revamp laws regarding stem cell therapies. This means that as long as the product is safe and has a certain degree of efficacy, it can be granted a conditional marketing approval after two clinical trials instead of the usual three. So in conclusion, um, you know, I really look forward to this product coming uh, available to us in 2018. I've never seen such a small company as Replicel actually join hands with one of the world's biggest cosmetic giants, uh, Shiseido. And they've actually even built their own facility in Japan just for the sole purpose of this product uh, because for some reason they just really want to push it out. And, you know, I'm, I'm really looking forward to it because there's things like PRP, which actually gets a person's blood cells and they you know, extract the platelets and then put it back into or inject it back into the scalp. But the thing about this RCH01, it's neat because it specifically targets the, uh, the follicle cells where it's prone to male pattern baldness. So I feel like it's, it's another form of PRP, but it's more specific. It targets cells that are actually resistant to baldness. And by you know, 
by pretty much transmitting them into areas that are balding. It's going to help revitalize the thinning hairs. It kind of seems like it's uh, like an FUE procedure where you extract the hair follicles that are resistant to uh, male pattern baldness, except for this is done on a cellular level. And so I really look forward to it. Um, you know, I really hope that it comes out in 2018. There's a lot of people that are really, uh, truly looking forward to this and that actually really do need it. And so I hope everything goes really nice. Uh, just, you know, just really, uh, really effectively. And I just, just really look forward to it. Uh, but anyway, thanks for watching, guys. If you guys have any questions, feel free to uh, leave some comments, like my video, and thanks for watching. Thank you.